Hey guys, it's Michaela again, and I am back with another speed build. So for this speed build, I decided to build another house because building houses are definitely one of my favorite things to do. And I wanted to build another family house. Um, I've been telling myself for like weeks or probably like two months now that I've been wanting to build like a budget family home, like maybe like five or six Sims and like have them on like a really, really tight budget. But then that never happens. Like, I think this house ended up being over 200,000 simoleons. So, I mean, whoops. <laughs> but it's because I I love clutter way too much. And that's just kind of what happened here. But I absolutely adore how it turned out. And it actually didn't take me very long to, like, do the roofing and stuff. Um, which, it, that usually takes me quite a bit of time. I usually have to cut out a lot of the footage and also a lot of footage from like the floor plans and stuff um overall this build probably took me like four-ish hours i know uh, because whenever i build i always do it in chunks unless it's like a really small build or something like that but when it's a bigger house or whatever i'm building um i usually have to do it in chunks because like i cannot build for just four hours straight otherwise I will probably go like slightly insane I mean I'm kind of insane already but I mean it happens sometimes so I think the longest bit that I um built at one time was like two hours or something which was a lot but I mean I still enjoyed how it turned out um I did have to cut out quite a bit of footage out of this video though because of it because otherwise um I think when I first cut it down, or like sped everything up, it ended up being like 45 minutes. And I feel like that's just way too long of a video. Uh, whenever I watch the builds, I like them to be under half an hour. Because, I mean, I'm just like a little bit antsy sometimes, so just watching the same video. Unless it's like an LP or something where like they, multiple things are going on. But yeah, so this is the exterior so far. Um, I'm pretty sure those doors are from Strangerville, and so I thought about using some of the windows from Strangerville, but I wasn't quite a fan of how they were turning out, so I just used some windows from Seasons, and the uh, Seasons windows weren't really working on these little, like, output things up here. I don't even know what to call them. So I ended up using these windows instead, which I'm fairly certain is a base game one. And then for the landscaping, I just tried to keep it pretty simple, just some nice hedges, and also like those green, like light green bush things. I don't even know what they're called, but I absolutely adore them and use them in so many of my builds, which if you have watched my other speed builds, then you probably already know that. And then I just tried to uh, put some clutter and stuff um, out on the front porch area. I do really like having like a large front porch and whenever I think of like a family home I always think of like a giant front porch or like even a wraparound porch I've always loved those and then for this family um, I imagine two parents and then three kids uh, two teenagers a boy and a girl who are actually twins they don't share the same room but there are two twins or one set of twins uh, words are hard sometimes. And then I also imagine a toddler because I just really like decorating toddler rooms, basically. And then I have the whole, like, white picket fence uh, type of thing going on. And then also I made a garage, which I thought was good, too. We really need to get cars in this game because if we get cars, then that means that we're probably be able to make garages very well like I don't even care about like having the actual like car situation I just want to decorate my houses with actual garages not to, like trying to make them the best I can and yeah I, I don't know I just really want to decorate as much as I can but anyways, I'm working on the floor plan right now. Um, per usual, struggle a lot with it because what's new? Uh, when don't I struggle with the floor plan? I really struggled with the upstairs and at first it was because of the placement of how the stairs were. Because first I had them like too wide, which I really like stairs that are too, that are too wide. Because, I mean, I don't know, I, it makes me, it makes it feel like, like a grand staircase or something like that. But then I had to cut it down because it was just like weird upstairs. And now I'm just working on the living room and I, of course, had to put a fireplace in there because... I don't know, whenever I feel like what I want my future 
like family house to look like one day it definitely has a fireplace in there but I wasn't able to fit it in like a good place because I like this fireplace because I really like the mirror that it has in it but then I couldn't fit a tv and a fireplace in there very well so I just slapped them together into one and have the tv right there as well and I do put a couple of toys um in there since I do imagine a toddler and then I do um put these paintings in here no they are not custom content but I think if you look up like paintings or something up in the gallery then you get these pain paintings that I guess sims can make which I thought was kind of weird because it has like actual like English letters um if you saw that but it's not going to show up as custom content when I upload this to the gallery, which is fantastic because I, I, I mean, I like using custom content in builds, but only for like my personal use because um, whenever you guys download my builds, if you do, um, I want it to be easy for you. Like you don't have to go through extra steps of downloading certain things and whatnot. And, you know, it makes it more of a challenge. And now I'm moving on into the kitchen and finally I was able to build a big kitchen. Um, usually when I try to build like these family homes, I end up making like a really, really small kitchen and then it makes it really difficult. But this one turned out so big, like I was able to put two stoves in there and I never am able to do that. And there's so much space, which I mean, made it harder for all the clutter. <laughs> Um, aspects of it which is probably why it took me so long to finish this build in the first place because cluttering takes so much time and I was even able to put this china cabinet in the kitchen which I'm so glad that it would fit there like perfectly because I had no idea what to do with that little awkward space over there and then I also put some shelves up here to put some more cluttering which I feel like cluttering took the most amount of time in this build but hey, I like how it turned out in the end, so it's fine. It's worth it. And I'm also able to fit a nice little breakfast nook area into the kitchen as well, which I always end up doing in a lot of my houses. Um, Again, that's just something that I want in my real life house one day because I like the idea of having like a general like low-key a kitchen nook area or whatever and then also having like a formal dining room so that way... Like, when you're having, like, a family get-together or, like, a Christmas party or something, then you can go into the dining room and it's, like, a special place. And then it also reminds me of, like, fairy tales in the castle where you have, like, the grand dining room or something like that. Um, now I'm just kind of rambling, but it's fine. And, um, over here, um, I realized I had no windows in the kitchen. And so I was going to put them right next to the fridge, but then I realized I was going to put, um, windows in the nook area, too which I absolutely love. And I love putting circle tables in my nook areas as well. And then um, I do change the wall color because I felt like it was way too bright in the kitchen. And I mean, I guess that's a good thing though, because you're, you'll be cooking and stuff. So it'd be better to have it really bright. But I mean, I just like a little darker area. And then this area out here, I had no idea what to do with because here's the deal. Whenever I'm building a house and I'm trying to make a floor plan, I always get like everything that I need in like the first floor because I usually have the living room obviously, um, a bathroom, um, kitchen, dining room. I usually put an office downstairs as well because again, something I want in the future. And then I always end up with this really awkward area. So it's just kind of a really giant like hallway. Um, usually the biggest or what I usually do with my hallways is have them like too wide. But this one ended up just being like really awkwardly shaped and I don't know, but it still kind of works. It's just like a random hallway slash room area that also leads to the backyard. So I don't know. I mean, I feel like I could have made it a little bit bigger and just deleted the dining room right here and had it like in there. But I mean, at least the dining room, how it is right now is it's more of like a private room. So that way... Um, when, like, if you download this, then your Sims can have that, like, a little private, like, formal area. I don't know. And I actually made this dining room, like, a proper size. Because I have said this in past videos um, before. Whenever I'm making dining rooms, because I use um, the Move Objects tree on, um, 
my dining rooms always end up being really small, but then I don't know that it's too small because move object is on. But with this one, it actually turned out to be really big. I actually made it too big at first, so I had to cut it down. So exciting things. And now I'm working on the garage and that little, like, little industrial shelf that has all the stuff on it. So we get that from Strangerville and it is so nice because I'm able to put it in the garage because like it fits pretty well in the garage I feel like. Like it has just all this random stuff on there and I don't have to clutter it up myself versus the shelf right here. Uh, we get this one from Get to Work and that had absolutely nothing on it so kind of had to figure my stuff out for that one. And then in here is a nice little office area and I decided to put a fan in here. Um, I do put a thermometer or yeah temperature thing in the house because I mean I have seasons so if I don't have it then my sims are going to complain um if I were to download or download this house I already have it because I built it but if I were to play in this house then I mean I don't want my sims to complain and or die in the house but I don't know I like fans like I feel like it's a very realistic thing to have in your house I mean I have to sleep with a fan every single night I mean I don't, I don't get it because at night I get so hot like I don't even have that many blankets on but I'm like overheating all the time but then I wake up at like 3 a.m and I'm like dying of being too cold it feels like I don't know my body is weird and I decided to put uh of course some bookshelves in here because I feel like every house needs bookshelves because if you're one of those people who says they never read like, I don't understand you. I mean, I guess I don't read a whole lot because I'm just, like, so busy all the time. Um, I am reading a book right now. I am reading Dragonfly in Amber by Diana... I don't know how to pronounce her last name, but she wrote Outlander. If you have read Outlander or seen it, it is so amazing. And I really regret not, like, getting into it while I was actually in Scotland. I did visit a couple of places where they filmed and everything, so like that was pretty cool, but I wasn't able to appreciate it as much as I would have now. But I mean, motivation to go back, right? I mean, I will take any excuse to go back to Scotland. So up here, um, this is where I'm making the teenage girls room, and um, per usual as how most of my rooms turned out, um, a very awkward shape. So I have like this little nook area where I put like I made like a couch. It's really like two chairs I just put together and pretended it's a couch. And then on this side over here is where like her bed is. And I decided to make it pretty light. Um, the walls are pink and then I have like some blue colors, a lot of white colors as well. And so like this side is kind of like her sleeping area, I guess. And then I do put that mirror over there. Um, I'm, we either get that from parenthood or kid stuff. Um, I don't know, but I really like it because it has all the lights around it and some pictures. And then I also have this area over here. So I decided to make this like her little like study nook area. And I was trying to make uh, an L shape or yeah, L shaped desk, I guess. But I didn't like how much it was glitching. So that bugged me too much. So I decided to go with this one, which actually turned out better, I feel like, because I was able to fit a nice bookshelf uh, next to it. And then I also put the cork boards over there because I just really like the look of that. And I didn't put any postcards or anything on here because still avoiding um, the debug menu um, because I am very, very slowly finishing up the Strangerville um, LP I have going on. So after I finish that, then I will go back to my debug menu and I can clutter up my builds even more. And then I do decide to clutter up her desk a little bit because I feel like teenagers are pretty messy. I mean, of course, there's teenagers who are very neat. Um, definitely not me. I mean, still now at age 23, still not very neat at all. I try to be. It's a lot better when I have like my own place. But since I am still living with my mom, it's difficult because a lot of stuff in my room is hers. And so, like, I can't actually move it. And it makes it very difficult for me to, like, put my own stuff in here. Because I just have too much. And especially adding hers. It, it's just a disaster all the time. And then I do put some of these paintings in her room. Especially the ones that had the actual words on them. Um, I just felt like they were quite fitting there. And then I also put some fairy lights above her desk area. Because, I mean, I feel like any teenager should have fairy lights 
I don't know. I mean, at least I have them. I mean, I, yeah, I had them in high school too, but I had them like uh, on my bed frame and whatnot. And now I have them again too, but only fills halfway my, into my room. And then in here is the teenage boys room. And this could also totally fit for like a kid boy too. I mean, of course, if you download this house, then you can do whatever the heck you want with it. But I do give him a lot of the void critter stuff in here. Because I thought, you know, maybe he likes that. Maybe he's a fan. And, like, I feel like whether that be a teenager or a child, it works either way. And then definitely a lot of blue in this room. Um, blue is one of my favorite colors. So I just have a tendency to use it a lot um, in my builds because, personally, I like the look of it. And then I do put these shelves um, next to his bed just to give him some storage, I guess, places, which I feel like it'd be kind of scary to have shelves right there because like, what if they fell on you when you're sleeping? And then over here, I do put the piles of laundry down because I mean, I definitely still do this, just like throw my clothes all over the place. And then I also do give him a hamper too, like right next to those files. So it's kind of ironic. And I also give him a desk and also a, a laptop and some bookshelves. Um, I feel like having bookshelves is a very good thing to have when you're a child, which is funny because I didn't have any growing up. I didn't get my first book, like real bookshelf until I was a teenager and I bought it myself. I also thought this little area over here was cool because I had like his computer, a TV, a boombox, and also like that robot thing uh, behind it, which although I thought it looked pretty nice. And then over here, I just wanted to give him some extra storage area. Um, I didn't give him a dresser or anything. So, but if you ever want to like change his clothes or anything, just go find a mirror and it'll be fine. And then I do give him a nice rug. And then I realized, I remembered that I didn't finish um, cluttering up the shelf. So I decided to go ahead and do that as well. And then moving on to the little toddler's room, um, I make this a purple room and I did imagine a little girl in here because I mean, I just like decorating for girls. Same with like when I'm, whenever I'm creating Sims 2, I always prefer making the girls because I find them to be very fun. And um, over here, I do put a dresser in her room. Um, yeah, so she has a dresser. Actually, I don't know if, if I gave the teenage girl a dresser, now that I think back to it. Whoops. She does have a mirror in there, though. But I also like making toddler rooms because you can build all the toys around, and then it's just like, oh, I wish I would have had this as a child. I didn't have... I mean, I had a lot of toys, but it wasn't, like, nicely decorated or anything. And I do put a dollhouse in there. I'm pretty sure I sized it down one because the dollhouses are ridiculously big. I mean, like... I, like, it would be so nice as a child to have a dollhouse that big because it's, like, the size of the freaking toddler. But, like, my dollhouses were pretty small, the ones that I had as a child. I did have one that was kind of big. And I guess it would be probably similar to the size of the dollhouses in this game, like, comparing it to the size of a toddler. Uh, probably a little bit smaller, though. But and it wasn't even a cool dollhouse or anything. It wasn't like a Barbie one or anything. It was just like a random one that someone probably gave me. But yeah, and then I also um, have some shelves in here. I love using these shelves, especially in taller rooms and also in like nurseries and stuff because they're like all cutesy and whatnot. And then I do give her um, some purple, um, what are those called? Curtains. I'm um, just to kind of match with the rest of the room. Um, except the dresser is like a weird pink color, but I just really like that color. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to use it. And then in here is the parents' bedroom. Um, very like norm, normal. Is that the right word? I know it's like similar to like all my master bedrooms. Cause I mean, kids bedroom, you can put so much personality in them versus in the parents' bedrooms. It's like pretty much the same, like put a dresser in there, a bed, um, I always put the nightstands on either side of the bed just to make it match with the rest. And then over here, um, I just put like a little side table thing because it was like a weird plate or weird spot. So I didn't really know what to put on there. And then I just go ahead and just put some random stuff um, above it. I just to clear it up a little bit. I basically just wanted to add just some random stuff on there to show that 
like our lives are a little bit messy, I guess. I don't know. I also put the doctor certificates up there. I just, I mean, I kind of imagine them to be more like degrees, not just like for a doctor. But I mean, I, I feel like the parents probably went to university, even though we don't have university. But fingers crossed that we will get that soon. And then over here, I do put a dresser and again, just some random stuff. Like I put like those plant things up there. And then over here, um, I think I put a bookshelf. Um, yeah, just because, you know, I feel like every room in the house needs a bookshelf, I guess. I mean, chronicles of being an avid reader, I guess. And also I love English and writing and like all that fun stuff. And then this room was pretty big. So it was a lot of just like putting a lot of random stuff everywhere. So like I also have the corner that has the chair. Um, actually, my mom's room has a random chair in it. She doesn't use it as a chair though. The cats do. She uses it more of like just frozen clothes over there. And then uh, the parents' room also does have an ensuite bathroom. So uh, they do have just like a regular like single shower and also the jetted bathtub because I mean, I feel like every parent needs one or like a jetted uh, bathtub because that way you can relax away from your kids when they're like being obnoxious and like frustrating to you, I guess. And then they also have this nice like big sink area because I feel like if you share a bathroom with someone, it's very nice to have like your sink and then their sink. So that way you can like get ready at the same time. And that's not like, okay, I need to brush my teeth, but while well, your significant lover is like doing your makeup or something. I don't know, things that I randomly think about, I guess. And then I go ahead and just do some decorating and everything. Um, above the bathtub, I do put some shelves up there. Um, and just put like, I think, yeah, I put the candles up there and also the bathtub uh, thing going on up there as well. As long as this plant uh, thing or whatever. Um, just because I wanted to add some more decoration. And then uh, I really like the walls that I put up in here. I thought they looked very, very nice. And then I also put some curtains because obviously. And now I'm moving on to the backyard. Um, the backyard is pretty small compared to the rest of the house, but I am able to put a pool, a seating area, um, they have a barbecue. And then I think I put a swing set and like all this fun stuff because I mean, I feel like pools are fun. <laughs> I mean, I like swimming. I actually don't know how to swim. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> and yeah, so I put the barbecue over there and then I do put a like picnic table thing I'm over here too, which only has four chairs and I imagine a five person family. So someone's going to be fighting over a chair. And then there's why I put the swing set. And this is almost the end of this video. Thank you all so much for watching and also listening to my rambling. Um, please subscribe if you have not already. Give this video a big, big thumbs up. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.